Hello everyone, I'm Patty Ann Brown and you are in the Strategy Room. The numbers are not adding up for Bernie Sanders and now the Vermont Senator faces mounting pressure to end his campaign for the Democratic presidential nomination. Sanders would need to win more than 72 percent of the remaining delegates to overtake the frontrunner Hillary Clinton who is now pivoting her focus to the general election. So is it time for Sanders to exit the race? Joining us now are Talk Media News Bureau Chief and Fox News contributor Ellen Ratner and Republican strategist Chip Salzman. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So critics say Sanders is staying in only so he can play a role at the convention. Ellen, do you agree? Well, it's not just a role. It's that he represents a lot of young people and a lot of people dissatisfied with party politics as usual. And if he drops out now, Hillary Clinton will pivot to the middle. And I think that group of people does not want that to happen. So I think Bernie's in through the convention. Yeah. Uh, Chip, is it helping Republicans that Sanders is staying in the race, criticizing Clinton? I mean, anytime Democrats are fighting, that helps Republicans. So we're fine with Bernie Sanders staying in the race. And I think Ellen's exactly right why he's staying in the race. But more importantly, I think he's having a blast. He is having so much fun out there. He's raising a ton of money. He's energized the base of the party that's been disappointed, especially in perhaps the Clinton over the last 10 or 15 years. This is an exciting time for the progressive wing of the Democrat Party right now, and Bernie is having a ball being the leader of it. Uh, yeah, uh, as Chip just said, Sanders is uh, bringing in a lot of campaign money still. Uh, the Washington Post actually reports that he brought in $185.5 million through the end of March. Uh, he's spending the money too, uh, roughly $46 million just spent in March. Uh, how does campaign funding play a role in all of this, Ellen? Well, obviously it plays a big role, and you know, the problem with Hillary Clinton's money raising is that she went after the big donors. So she got that 2700 or 2750 or whatever you're allowed. But you can't go back to the well. Bernie Sanders, whose average donation is $27, hers is supposedly 100 but she went to some very big donors. Uh, he can go back to the well many, many times and continue those donations, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, in addition to the fact that her getting the money from big donors allows Sanders to criticize her uh, for getting you know, large donations from uh, fewer people. Uh, Chip, for sure. How do you expect Sanders to do in the five states that are holding primaries next Tuesday? Well, most of them are closed, which is always a little tougher for him. He'll, he, he should do well in the more northeastern states. He's behind in Pennsylvania. Uh, and that's a big state for them as well. And, you know, mathematically, he's got, with a proportional all across the board for Democrats, he's got to win by bigger and bigger margins, and that's just going to be a tougher sled for him. And, and, and what we've always said is presidential campaigns don't lose. They run out of money, and he's not going to run out of money anytime soon, so there is no reason for him to get out. He's in it all the way to the convention, and I think he'll have a pretty significant role at the convention. I think that's what he's going to want. Yeah, uh, it's the superdelegates that are really putting Hillary over the top. She's winning in actual votes as well, but uh, really winning big in the superdelegates, uh, Ellen, so much so that Trump is even saying that Sanders is getting robbed. Uh, what about that? Well, the fact is, is that superdelegates can change, and they do, like they did in 2008 between Clinton and Obama. So I'm not too worried about the superdelegates. He's got to win actual elections, as she does, in order to get the nomination. All right. Ellen and Chip, thank you both so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you. And for complete coverage of the 2016 election, go to foxnews.com. I'm Patty Ann Brown. Thanks for watching.